Hello and welcome back to Free to Play Friday. This Friday we have Fallout Shelter. Um, it's been out for a while. Um, I got it on the Steam on Steam once and played it for a while and fell out of it. And then it re-released on the Switch. I got it, played it for a while, and fell out of it again. Um, this is really a game I myself could not really get into. Um, for a long period of time. Um, so basically, um, it's part like resource management and um, you know just making sure everybody doesn't die. Really, and um, you have to make sure you've got plenty of electricity, plenty of water, and plenty of food. Um, there are also other optional um, things you can do. Uh, Builds such as um, living quarters, um, storage rooms are semi, semi optional. Like um, they increase how much storage you have, so they are so they're not completely necessary, but they're nice to have because then you uh, um, can hold more items. Um, there's a radio room which can help you um, get uh, um, more people in and uh, there's a bunch of other ones and a ton I haven't even unlocked yet and um, as you can see uh, um, here and um, that lady uh, came because of the radio room I think at least it was with the radio room Um I am currently playing this with the GameCube controller so um, if uh, um, it looks a little bit odd with what well, what controls I'm playing is because I'm not playing this with the GameCube controller for the first time. Because when I did first get this and fall out of it, I hadn't yet got my GameCube to Wii U and Switch and PC converter. Um, and it can, this game can be quite challenging. Challenging um, when you stop playing it for like a day or so, and there's a ch chance that, and even while you're playing it, there's a chance that a random event will happen. I mean, such as your um, shelter being attacked, which is why I would suggest two things. Firstly, like this woman I have here, have uh, one uh, 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 shelter person uh, dedicated to um, being offensive, and you can use them to defend your base, and um, if you like, and later on I show you, yeah, you can send them out on um, uh, scout missions to find stuff in there. Uh, the wastelands, wastelands, and um, yeah, you can do that. But if you want to do that, and I would suggest doing this anyway, even if you have like one or two people at the door, making sure um, like their raiders get in or whatever, you will want to equip to, like at least one person in each facility with a gun, um, because there's events like um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like cockroaches or whatever. They get in and they can appear in any room at random really so um, yeah you're going to want to uh, make sure everybody has a gun uh, or some sort of weapon so that when if they do get attacked um, you know they can defend themselves now um, uh, just placing one or two people at the door to make sure everybody's safe will usually work um, you know, that will usually keep everybody safe. Um, and if you're sending them out, I, I suggest they're making sure you have plenty of stim packs and bad stuff to make sure they don't die, basically. Um, uh, and don't take this layout as a good layout. This is just like a layout I made like months ago, just on my own. Not very good. Well, well. Um. Ah. Right. So. Um. And as you will see in a minute, um, your base, uh, your shelter can be attacked by raiders, like I said earlier. Um. Also, if you're there, you can actually um see what they're what's going on with that. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Raider attack. Um, if you, if you wait a second. 
the radius will come and they'll like destroy the front door. They don't have to repair itself for free, so don't bother me. Don't be too angry about making sure they don't break the wall. The wall door. And um, then they enter this. And um, now this uh, this that would be a good place to put like anybody you want that's going to be dedicated to like killing people. But as you can see here, everybody in there just has everybody in there already has guns. So the raiders are just gonna get into Swiss cheese, basically. Now you can see that one there is already dead, pretty much. Um, I think yeah, she she's just dropped over dead. Um, so yeah. Um, as long as you have um everybody with plenty of weapons, then. Um, you know, you're going to be fine. Raiders aren't really going to bother you too much and know what, and uh, anything else. Um, but yeah, um, I have, uh, between recording this and last playing it has been a few months. Um, so everything doesn't go to shit. If you stop playing it for a couple months and come back to it, but it might go to shit overnight. Like, I have, ha I have experienced times where I've literally turned my console off to go to sleep and everything's gone to shit. Like, that is one of the biggest reasons why I fell out of this game, because, every, you know, like, I would just sometimes just, like, be too paranoid to go to sleep at night in fear of everything going to shit. So, do bear that in mind. Like, um, if you have somebody, if, if you share, like, a house and you have somebody who, like, works nights while you work days or vice versa and I would definitely suggest like asking them to make look after it for you because it's just unless you stay up 24-7 there's no real way to stop everything from going to shit because the resources will not automatically collect once um, the electricity the water and the food are ready to be collected they will just sit there and the people will do nothing so overnight the people will still use up the food, the electricity, the water and not collect it from uh, the thing so you're just going to run out of food, electricity and water if you are not already, if you do not already have a good stockpile and then there's also the fact that you, know, that you can also sometimes get radio attacks and, it, um, and those kind of events that, uh, while you're sleeping. Um, also, randomly there will this be there will be this cloaked guy, um, just that appears randomly, and there's a and there's a little like jing, jingle that follows him or tune or whatever you want to call it, um, and it, uh, yeah, if you find him and uh, press A on him, um, and, you know, and highlight him, uh, he'll give you um, resources such as cap, bottle caps, and everything. Um, uh, and that, yeah, so, would I suggest getting Fallout Shelter? Well, it is free to, free, so, you know, there's no, you're not really, lo you don't really have anything to lose financially. Um, time-wise, you know, if you don't like it, it's going to be a bit of a waste of time, but, uh, from this video footage and from what, how I've been describing it, you should figure out whether it's fun for you or not. Um, and there's also another, oh, I almost forgot there's another bit where you can send your, like, I think it, uh, you know in Clash of Clans you have the bits with, I think it's gob, goblins or whatever you attack, and there's like, regenerated bases, I think, um, they, they, they have a mode a bit like that, um, here as well, um, and it, um, it, it, if you like um, base building, resource management type of games, then yes, get this. This is going to be right up your alley. But if you don't like these kind of games, then I would not really suggest this because you're probably just going to waste your time. Um, uh, but I, I do have to commend that uh, um, the amount of like the the detail and everything like um if you can if you like look in that room there which I think I noticed about there here um or maybe I noticed earlier um when you're moving to and from and there's like a little room in the back it's actually 
uh, when you're moving the cam when your camera moves, you actually see bits that you wouldn't see if you were looking head on. So that is a nice little detail that not everybody would notice. And uh, um, there's like lots of little details to this which they really didn't have to do, but they did it anyway. So I have to commend them for that at least. Like it, is, it does have a lot of nice little details. I like I and I do. One of my favorite things to do in this is just like what see what people say. Um, okay, so I am gonna have to like reuse some of the footage because um, it's not going to be long. It's just gonna be a few seconds, and it's not really worth me going back to the game to record like five seconds of footage. Anyway, um, so basically. Um, when you're looking around the base, um, people in rooms will sometimes have little conversations with each other. And uh, that, that is a nice little, um, you know, thing they put in there. Like, I do like getting around and just like, listening to what people say. Um, also here, that you do have a thing to go and watch them in daily, but it, um, if you skip days, it doesn't penalise you. So, that is quite nice. Um, but yeah, it do, if you look... If you like Fallout, you'll probably like this, and if you like um, resource management and base building games, then you'll like this. Um, but if you don't like any of those things, then I wouldn't suggest picking this up. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.